Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name's Richard. Don't forget, Tenerife, September, October 2024 and March, April 2025. But there we are, more details to come on that. The world's an interesting place at this moment in time. In fact, to tell you the truth, it's been no different to the last 10,000 years. We've always had a sort of complicated life. And a few years ago, I took, a de I made a decision and to simplify my life and come down to the basics. Uh, and as part of that simplification, I changed my language so people could easily understand me without using highfalutin words where people in meetings were just nodding and I could have said anything to them and they would just keep nodding and using words that no one understands and words in documents that no one understands. So I decided to simplify myself and that was a, driven by working with multicultures, multiple cultures because I, I, ended up, I had to keep my language simple uh, because, you know, English is a second language to a lot of folk that I used to work with. So by keeping my language sim simple, they could easily understand what I was saying. <clears throat> and it worked. And I simplified my life. And one of those simplifications was the purchase of the BSA Gold Star. And it's a simple bike and it's a beautiful bike and I've thoroughly enjoyed owning this bike. It needs a good clean, I know that. It does need a good clean. And before you say anything, I know the chain needs a good scrub with a metal wire. Uh, but it is what it is. And having simple mo motor motorcycles is a great thing. This is a beautiful bike. And I've had so much fun on it, and I will continue to have fun on it. And maybe all these young folk that I see that have got such complicated lives, and they're constantly holding the phone and looking down all the time. You know, maybe they ought to just look up and see what's around them. I'm in a beautiful area of Staffordshire on a beautiful spring day on a beautiful bike giving a beautiful ride you know what could what could be easier than this yeah the bikes aren't expensive this is this is a beautiful bike the equivalence of the royal enfield lineup and if you're thinking about having a simple bike then royal enfield and bsa provide exactly that there's no complications. It's just a modern motorbike with, with the stuff that you need to get from A to B, wherever may, A may be and wherever B may be. I'd really like to take this into Europe and I'm struggling with time, but I think at some point I'm gonna to have to take her into Europe with a tent as the temperatures warm up here in the UK and Europe as we're coming out of this what feels like a very, very long winter. So, and, and you know, she's suffered this bike, riding her in the winter, and she does need a good clean. I'll have to get my son to give her a really good clean, uh, as I haven't got time, or the equipment really. Uh, but I think we should take her for a ride. What do you think? Should we take her for a ride? Come on, let's get that intro in and uh, let's take this little girl for a ride. Okie dokie. A simple life, a simple machine. So she's a lovely machine. She is a lovely machine. 650cc, about 47 horsepower I think, 45 horsepower. 
She does about 75, 70 miles per the gallon, a UK gallon. And a UK gallon, oops, is made of 4.55 litres. So 4.55 litres makes one UK gallon. And she needs some fuel. And she already, and she also needs the uh, firmware update, which is why she stalled when I went round that junction. And I shall go and arrange that. I shall go and get that this coming week. So she's a lovely bike. And I've had her now for, oh my goodness, it must be at least seven or eight months. And I've done well over a thousand miles on her. Here we go. Yeah, she's a lovely bike. So, what, well, three and a half thousand, four thousand RPM and we're doing 60 mile an hour. Let's get in the right place on the road. It's hard to narrate sometimes when you're riding, so forgive me for my road position. Yeah, she's a great bike, a simple bike. Now I have noticed one thing since selling the Triumph Tiger and replacing the Triumph Tiger with the, my Triumph T120. So I'm very fortunate I've got a BSA Gold Star and a Triumph T120 and I've got the Yamaha RD350R. I'm very fortunate, I know that. And But since... Uh, Since removing the Tiger, which had a Space Invader dashboard, got everything on it and some of it was useless, I thought. Um, I've noticed that I'm looking on the road more, rather than looking at the screen and the technology that that bike brought. So I think that's a good thing. Right now, I'm just looking at the road. I know I'm within the speed limit. So I'm not constantly looking down at the dash, the screen, and trying to understand what the Space Invader machine is trying to do. I'm actually concentrating more on the road. Now that might be just me. That might be just me. So I'll give the benefit of the doubt on that. Do you find that uh, if you're riding motorcycles with complicated screens that you that you're regularly looking down at the screen. I don't know. Tell me what your thoughts are. As I go and fill up this motorbike at Croxton. Yeah, she's a lovely bike. If you're thinking about getting simplicity, yeah, and you've got a, a limited budget of, let's say, 6K, a BSA Gold Star, or a Royal Enfield Continental or GT or Super Meteor or something like that, maybe second hand, uh, is a great option. Absolute great option. It really is. And the Royal Enfields are just as economical, so I understand. I used to have a Hunter 350. And that was a dream. Even with a pillion, it was an absolute dream. Hopefully the uh, Croxton service station is open. Let's slow down. Let's get down to 30. Absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful machine if you got any doubts just go and test ride a BSA Gold Star and you'll find out exactly what it's like 
absolutely wonderful. Let's pull in here. Unleaded. I usually put uh, five in her, but it looks like it's going to have to be whatever the unleaded is on here. Let's get those. Uh, let's get the gloves off. See how this goes. I'm not going to stick too much in. How much is that? Ten pounds, six liters. There we go. Well, that's about it. Let's stick just that amount in. I don't want too much in. I prefer to run her on uh, E5. That's better. That's better. Right, let's go pay. Hello. Just the motorcycle, please. Something like that. Super. Has that gone through? Yep. Super. Have a great day. You, Cheers. No, no worries at all. No need to reverse. If you can give the bike a wash, that'd be great. Lovely people in this part of the world, lovely people. You'll have noticed that uh, Croxton service area, they've got lots of guns for sale. It's a countryside thing. You don't often see that, where guns are up on the walls in Britain, in the UK. What's the difference between Great Britain and the United Kingdom? If you've got this far, What's the difference between Great Britain and the United Kingdom? Great Britain is the collection of England, Wales and Scotland. The United Kingdom is the collection of England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. There you are. Hopefully you might have learnt something there. So that's the difference between Great Britain and the United Kingdom. What do you think to that? Put your comments below. 
So we're in Croxton, just filled up at the service area. Lots of guns. What did you think of that? It's not often you see that in the UK. Not often you see that at all. But they're really nice people. There's lots of hunting going off in this area of the world. This area of England. There were air guns and at one end uh, they are uh, shotguns. You know, if you if you need, uh, there's plenty of farmers around here. There's plenty of people that go hunting for wildlife and all that kind of thing. At a previous place that I used to live, uh, when I had a farm, uh, there were lots of rabbits on one of the fields, and uh, one of the guys because I'm not a farmer. I'm not a farmer, I just bought the farm. Uh, one of the guys uh, used to come around with his uh, air gun and cull off the rabbit to keep the numbers at the right level on our field. And uh, he used to make rabbit curry and he used to share it with us and it was absolutely beautiful. Now that sounds a bit interesting, but if you let rabbits go wild, then in the UK, then they get mixed, then the rabbits get a disease called myxomatosis, which is absolutely horrific for the animals. It's absolutely horrific for rabbits. It puts them in a terrible state. So by culling them and keeping the numbers right, uh, you don't induce myxomatosis. Uh, it really is a terrible thing, myxomatosis. When I took over the pro property, the farm, there were, it was November when I bought it, and November, and the rabbits were few and far between, but come the summer when they started mating, the myxomatosis was absolutely rife and it was such a sorry state to watch all these rabbits wandering aimlessly like zombies. They were like zombies. So, a lovely chap came round and killed, and culled them all off. Uh, and then over the years, the quality of the rabbits and their health went through the roof. They were absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and they were having a really good life and it and, and that's what you have to do that's what you have to do anyway back to simplicity beautiful bike what do you think beautiful bike tell me your thoughts go and test ride the BSA Gold Star go and test ride the Royal Enfield Super Meteor and all that good stuff the continental the gt if you want a nice simple bike or even if you money stretches go up for the uh, the bonneville 900 is it called the street twin i should know these names i think it's called the street twin the 900 twin with the 240 degrees crank if your money stretches that far but if you're limited to a budget of let's say around six thousand pound or six and a half thousand pound then maybe you should be looking at the bsa gold star or the offerings from royal enfield go and see your local dealer i can assure you they are wonderful bikes both bsa and royal enfield don't listen to the negative comments on uh, some of the videos most of them are full of bullshit and they've only been riding the bikes for one hour. They don't, and they don't, most of them haven't got a clue. Anyway, if you've got this far, we'll solve the problems of the world in the next video. Simplicity is the way forward. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. We're now at 2,000 plus subscribers and that's wonderful. Don't forget, we're going to Tenerife. If you're interested, just tell me in the comments. Doesn't matter where you are from in the world, we can all meet up at Tenerife. Details on that in the near future. 
have a great day safe riding be kind to everyone i'll see you very soon bye bye